All right, so we're going to continue with the theme here, working with graph transformations. This is another uh, kind of word problem set up. And it says, on the pool table shown, you bank the five ball off the side represented by the x-axis. So not too clear to see, but this is the x-axis. Okay. And then this is the y-axis as well. The path of the ball is described by the function p of x. I'll just highlight this. p of x equals 4 thirds the absolute value of x minus 5 fourths. At what point does the 5 ball bank off the side? Now by side, uh, pretty sure they're referring to this part, the x-axis. So we need to find this point. So what we want to do and what we want to take advantage of is that anywhere along this x-axis, the y value is zero. So once you touch the, that side, your y is zero. So we know at that point, we don't know the x point, but we know the y point is zero, right? Because it's hitting the x-axis. So we know one of the two coordinate points. We, know, we don't know x, but we know y is 0. Now we can take this and plug it into our function to solve for x. So what I mean by that is p of x, uh, we can think of as being like our y, which is equal to 0. So 4 thirds, the absolute value of x minus five-fourths is equal to zero. So this is going to tell us when we solve for x here, the x value where y is zero, and that's where we hit that side. Uh, so we can multiply both sides by three. So then you have four, the absolute value of x minus five fourths, zero times three is still zero. We can divide everything by four. So now we're left with the absolute value of x minus five fourths equals zero over four, it's just zero. So let's think about what statement makes this true. Let's not even worry about the algebra. The absolute value of some number minus another number is or minus five fourths is zero. Well, there's only one value, right? The absolute value of zero is just zero, right? So the only thing that will make this zero is when x is five fourths, because five fourths minus five fourths is zero, and the absolute value of zero is zero. So x equals 5 fourths is the only solution. If we put any other number, we wouldn't get 0, and then the absolute value wouldn't be 0. So when x is 5 fourths, y is 0. So 5 fourths comma 0 is this point right here. Uh, 5 fourths comma zero. Now the next question, and I don't have it here, but it's below that, is does it go into the pocket here? This pocket that I'm highlighting yellow, do we actually make it? Well, let's note that this point is five comma five. And we know the path that describes the ball is five comma or uh, four thirds. That's this, this highlighted part. Four thirds absolute value of x minus five fourths. So, one way to solve this problem is just to ask: Is five five a solution? 
So this is an x value, and this is a y value. So I could say is p of x, which we're calling y, which in this case is 5, equal to 4 thirds the absolute value of x. Well, the x for that pocket is 5 minus 5 fourths. And well, all we have to do is a little bit of math. So I'm gonna do that over here. Does five equal four thirds the absolute value of? So we need to get common denominators here. Um, hopefully you guys are okay with that. I'm gonna go a little slow. So the way I do this, as I see there's a four in the denominator. So I do four, let me write that a little nicer. Four over four times 5 over 1. So 5 over 1 is the same thing as just 5. So you can do that. And I'm multiplying it by whatever this de denominator is. In this case, it's 4. So 4 over 4. If it was a 3, it would be 3 over 3. And this is okay to do because 4 over 4 is just 1. 3 over 3 is just 1. So I'm just multiplying by 1. I'm not actually changing anything. It just forces common denominators. Minus... What's in the denominator here? A one. So I would say one over one times five fourths, absolute value. You could also look at this and just say, uh, well, what's the common denominator here? Four, so I have to multiply five by four and so on and so forth. That's the same way. That's just the way I think of it. But as long as you can get the common denominator, then you're fine. So 4 thirds, absolute value of 4 times 5 is 20, minus 5 all over a common denominator of 4. Or 5 equals 4 thirds, 15 over 4. There's no need for the absolute value here because 15 over 4 is already positive, so this is just a multiplication. 5 equals... Let's see, what is that? 60 over 12. And then... Let's see. 60 over 12 is 5. So 5 equals 5. So we got a true statement. So yes, the ball does sink in. Um... So yeah, sorry, I was just uh, looking at something. So yes, the fact that we got a true statement, five equals five, means that this coordinate point, five, five, which is where the hole is, is included in our function. So because of that, that means this, this, this uh, absolute value function will go into the pocket. And this is how we showed that. We took the fact that the pocket's at 5, 5, where this is an x value and this is a y value. We plugged in our y value, 5. We plugged in our x value, 5. And then we just simplified. If I got 5 equals 7, then that's not a true statement and that's not a coordinate point. But because I got a true statement, then this is true. So hopefully that makes at least a little sense.